In this video, we're gonna look at how to update the firmware on both the Compact Connect and the Mini Connect. The process is exactly the same on both, although they do use different firmware files. It's not normally necessary to update the firmware on the units unless you're advised to by CAMS's support or the software tells you to. In the case of a Compact Connect here, I'm running old firmware on my Connect, and when I plug it into the software, it's gonna tell me to update because of a, a known update that was required in firmware. Now, if you see this message on your Compact Connect, watching this video, you'll be able to then do the update yourself. So if I take my Compact Connect and I plug it in uh, via USB, of course, uh, to my MagicQ PC system, you'll notice now in the MagicQ software, it's popping up a message that says, please update Compact Connect firmware to whichever version. Now we might prompt you to do that if we've done a particular fix or add a new feature, and we think you need to update the firmware, you're running old firmware on your unit. We always include the latest firmware files with the latest MagicQ software. So if you're seeing this message, your software already has the firmware ready for you to then send and load onto the Connect. So how to update? We go to our setup window, we go to view system, view status, and then USB links. And you can see I only have one USB link here and it tells me along here, on the version here, tells me I'm running version 101 firmware on my unit at the moment. To change the firmware, I go to the change firmware button here, and I now need to pick the firmware. Inside the firmware folder, you'll find all of the firmware for our current product. So you need to pick the right one for your product. The Compact Connect runs 310-028 firmware, and the Mini Connect runs 310-033 firmware. And then after that, you'll see the version number. So looking on my screen here, I can see 310, uh, dash 028 and the latest version is 104. I select that file and it will now start the upgrade. You can see in my command line it requests the arrays and now it starts sending the firmware across to the product. Keeping looking in this command line it will tell you when the firmware has all been sent and it will report back when the unit is programmed as well. This usually takes up to about a minute or so, is a fairly quick process and the Compact Connect will restart uh, and reconnect again as soon as it's updated and programmed. And you'll see that confirmation in the software in a moment. So as we let that go through, uh, if we talk about the Mini Connect, the process is exactly the same. You'd connect your Mini Connect, you'd come to the setup, view system, view status, USB links window, and again, choose choose firmware. And then if we're using a Mini Connect, we'd choose the 310-033 firmware rather than the 028 firmware that we're using on the Compact Connect here. It's important to note that while you're doing a firmware update, please don't close the MagicQ software and don't disconnect the wing until it reports that it's complete. And of course, once it's complete and programmed, you're free to uh, disconnect and replug the device. So you can now see in my MagicQ software here, it's reported back to me that my Mini Connect has been programmed okay. And so I should now be back in operation. You may need to power cycle your Compact Connect. So in my case here, I'm just gonna power off my Compact Connect, and then power it back on again, and it will reconnect to my system. And that's it. That's how you firmware update your Compact or your Mini Connect via MagicQ.